After these long intervening decades, I can no longer quite make out her face. Just fleeting wisps of sun-haloed dream visions. How strange that the visage of someone to whom I was so close is barely perceptible to me now. It was the summer of 1839 when she was nine and I was not yet four. That is when my older sister Margaret, to whom I was utterly devoted, died. Margaret was the second of my parents' children. She was born five years after the oldest, Orion, and five years before me. It was in that way that at a tender age I was introduced to the great enemy, Death. That is, it is an enemy to those left behind, but not to the one taken. This unavoidable guest would visit my family many more times in the years to come. Almost immediately after Margaret's death, our family removed from Florida, 40 miles northeast to Hannibal, for a fresh start in a village that seemed to promise better prospects than of that sleepy, almost invisible backwater hamlet on the never-to-become-significant and scarcely navigable Salt River. Hannibal was a new town when we moved there and growing. Upon our arrival in that white town drowsing, which I later dubbed St. Petersburg in my books detailing the adventures of Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn, I was older than the village itself.' 